Hey guys, it's Hawaii Manga, or him as an acronym, and today I'll be teaching you how I draw manga eyes. Now as you can see, I'm starting off by drawing the top of the eye, and then I'll place in the bottom of the eye. And that's the basic eye shape I use when I'm drawing eyes. Now generally, the top of the eye, the top eye line, is usually thicker than the bottom eye line. Artists usually use this technique to basically show that the top of the eye has more lashes than the bottom of the eye. Now as you can see, I'm adding in that basic circular-ish shape, which scientifically speaking would be the iris of the eye. And now the most, well one of the coolest parts of the eye is the pupil. That's the circle there in the center. And now as you can see I'm adding this, I'm kind of like doubling up on the upper line. And that's supposed to be like, that's something I do when I draw eyes. It's supposed to be like, you know you have that line right above your top eyelash. If you go in the mirror and look you'd see it but... Everyone has that line and not all artists included in their drawings, but I love to add it to my eyes because I think it gives it a nice look. Now of course, the eye would not be complete without the eyebrow. Uh, well, I mean, technically they're two different things, but come on. The eyebrow is basically part of the eye, maybe. Now I'm going to draw another eye here, and you can think of the eye that I just finished drawing as a male's eye. So now I'm going to draw a female's eye. Well now in real life, they're basically pretty much the same, except maybe females have more eyelashes. <laughs> but when drawing in this comic manga style, artists usually stress the difference between male eyes and female eyes. Females, they generally have a lot of eyelashes, more than males, and they have a kind of softer, more shiny looking eye. You know, a lot of artists like to add highlights to female eyes because that makes it more feminine, and I do it too, as you'll see. And also, females usually have thinner eyebrows than males. Now that's basically my way of drawing eyes, a male eye and a female eye. But now I'm gonna draw the eye of an already existing, pretty popular character. But I won't tell you guys who it is. So you can see this other artist. He has a slightly different way of drawing eyes, 
like I mean it's basically the same but obviously how I draw manga I draw different from everyone draws different from someone else even though they might have similar traits that they do they're generally different so as you can see this character's eye is like completely it's connected the top eye line and the bottom eye line and just like the same way I draw eyes this artist does the same thing you know thickening the top eye line making it thicker than the bottom eye line to kind of as a stylized way of showing eyelashes without actually drawing eyelashes on a male character you know because it might look a little weird but you could have eyelashes on your male character you can do anything you want basically so I'm putting in the iris here and again a pupil so as I said I'm not gonna tell you guys who this character is <laughs> you'll have to figure that out for yourself but I'm gonna color it so it'll be pretty easy to guess who it is once I'm finished coloring. Come on, you guys are smart. Now I'm going to be drawing one more eye here of an already existing character. Uh, I would say this is a popular character too, I mean, <laughs> yeah. So just like before, I'm not going to tell you guys who this character is. I want you guys to guess it, because that's fun. <laughs> so this character, is, it's, it's very different from the other three eyes that I've drawn here. Just to show you guys that you have a lot of freedom when you're creating eyes for your characters so as you can see again as usual the top eye line is thick uh, but this character doesn't really have a bottom eye line just basically has a top eye line alone and instead of the usual common circle iris circle shaped iris or pupil this character has an oval shaped iris <laughs> and as you can see there's like a C shape like a reverse C cut out of the iris which will be a highlight and you'll start to understand more when I color it in but I think you guys already know who this character is like their eyes are pretty unique I had to admit I've rarely seen a character with an eye like this pretty cool
follow me and we'll do it together later.